Proteus PCB layout software includes comprehensive support for power planes. To place a power plane over an entire layer, you launch the power plane generator dialog from the tools menu. Then you specify the net and layer that you want the plane to be on, as well as the thickness of the boundary pen. Hitting the OK button will then generate the zone. The clearance between the power plane and other objects on the board is generally determined by the design rules. The zone border is considered to be a track for design rule purposes, so the relevant design rules are the pad to trace rule, the trace to trace rule, and the edge rule. If you need to, you can force a larger clearance to apply across the entire zone by entering a clearance value by the edit zone dialog. This is launched from the context menu you get when you right click on the border of the zone. Note that Proteus will always choose the safer of the two values. This means that if the design rule clearance is larger than the one entered here, it will be the one used on the PCB. The edit zone dialog allows us to configure everything from the connected type to thermal relief thickness. Of particular interest are the suppress islands and allow nesting checkboxes at the bottom. The suppress island option allows us to remove isolated areas of copper with no connections and the nested zones option enables the creation of secondary planes inside the original plane where connections do not exist, typically in hard to reach places. Using these options together gives complete control over the flood area of the plane. Users with a level 2 or higher can also place partial planes of an arbitrary size and shape. First select the power plane icon, change the layer selector as required, and then use consecutive left clicks to map out the area of coverage. Configure the dialog as before and hit the OK button to commit placement. Also, you can use this process to create an area on the power plane where it will be void of copper coverage. Once the area is marked out, use the dialog box to select the layer required and set type to empty. <laughs> 